Good morning, everyone. I just wanted to do a quick update on uh, stocks in general, gold and oil, because there's been a, a couple of uh, significant things happen in the last 24 to 48 hours. So this will be a very quick video. Um, markets basically overall are appearing to be highly resilient at the moment. Uh, they're, they're basically going up in the face of what would normally be considered uh, pretty negative news. So that's always a very positive sign. Um, so first of all, we had the failure of the, of the uh, OPEC talks on the weekend in Doha. That was always going to be the, the likely outcome um, that you know the Saudis and the Russians and the Iranians would never be able to reach an agreement. So that's what happened. Uh, oil initially uh, reacted pretty poorly, as you would expect. It was down 6%. Uh, but then it very quickly recovered really within a space of just a couple of hours. And, uh, and energy stocks did pretty well last night in America. So um, it, it really does defy logic. Just, you know, one more thing that, uh, that isn't, doesn't sort of make logical sense when the supply and demand fundamentals are so far out of whack. Um, the market has been bid up in expectations of some sort of deal. And no deal occurs and yet the prices don't fall. Um, it really is quite extraordinary. Uh, and it was the same for broad stock indices as well. And you can only conclude that that is very impressive price action. And we'll have a look at the S&P index in just a minute. Now, overall, US economic fundamentals and corporate fundamentals, uh, as, a, as a general statement, continue to underwhelm. Uh, they're just not nearly uh, as good as they uh, need to be or should be. Uh, and so we've still got this situation where stock markets are just being fueled by excessive liquidity created by the central banks. And so you're getting price rises where price rises shouldn't occur. Um, now you can sit back and try and be logical about it and say, well, you know, I'm not going to invest or trade because the market should go down. But the fact is it's going up. And in my view, you must well be a part of it as long as you've got an appropriate game plan and, and a risk management uh, plan in place. So overall, the indicators of future demand in the US economy and also in the Australian economy just don't justify most valuations. That's that's really the bottom line. We'll take a quick look at precious metals and then we'll have a, a look at the charts. Uh, metals prices, so gold and silver, fell slightly overnight, but gold and silver stocks were mostly higher. So again, this is very impressive action. And there were numerous breakouts, uh, particularly in some of the uh, silver stocks as well. So I just continue to be really pleased and excited by what I see in the precious metal space. Just looking uh, a, a little bit longer term, things to look out for. There will be an element of profit taking. You can't get these sort of rises without some periodic profit taking kicking in. Um, Mid-year tends to be a little bit weaker period for uh, gold and gold stocks. However, this year, the, this is so powerful that, um, you know, I'm not saying that that's going to occur this time either. But if we are going to get any weakness, it'll be across the mid-year period. So let's take a look at a few charts. Um, we'll start with the S&P and you can see the very, very positive candle last night. So that was in response to uh, the oil price initially dipping significantly and then, of course, recovering. Um, and that 100% correlation between the oil price and stock prices that we saw uh, for months and months on end there uh, appears to have completely broken uh, down now. So very impressive action uh, in the stock market. And you can see uh, it's just below 2,100 points. And that's just below the all-time highs, which... Um, is really all things considered quite extraordinary, but it is what it is. Uh, let's just have a look at um, at the gold stock index. So this is the HUI index managed to push a little bit higher last night, uh, but I can tell you that a lot of individual gold and silver stocks did miles better than that. Um, so pretty impressive action. So I just wanted to bring those uh, two things to your attention. The main point of it is that the market had every reason to sell off last night uh, with the failure of the, the talks on the weekend and didn't. Um, gold stocks had every reason for some profit takers to step in and didn't. So 
you know, this is this is very impressive action. That's uh, that's it for this update. Cheers.